Hello there, my name is Trina and welcome to another C programming tutorial from Zero in Cipher. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a program that will print a pyramid pattern of stars. This is a very simple program. At first, let me show you the sample output of the program and then I will clear the logic for you. Here's the sample output of the program. It says uh, into the number of rows, that is 5. So our program will going to print 5 rows containing a certain number of stars that will help it to uh, get the shape of pyramid. So now let's clear the logic for you. So here's here's are some stars that I have uh, put in a uh, table in the pattern of uh, pyramid. So if we want our program to print uh, stars in this shape, uh, our, you guys can notice that our program must print some empty spaces before printing stars. And these empty spaces uh, are also mm, the same pattern as I have done in my previous video uh, it's the upside down right side triangle video uh, yep. upside down right side triangle pattern so if you guys want to know how I uh, create this uh, pattern uh, you guys can check my previous video so now I'm assuming that you all know how to create this pattern so I'm just going to skip this part so in our previous video, uh, we have printed this uh, pattern with stars. Now here, in this for loop, instead of printing stars, we will print an uh, uh, so, uh, uh, empty space, an empty space here. So then we'll get these empty spaces right here in this pattern. So now let's uh, get to the, our main pattern, which is this pyramid. So, um, if you guys notice, uh, it's printing one star in the first row. In the second row, it's printing three stars. And uh, in the third row, it's printing five stars. So. Basically, we need some stars, uh, some number of stars that will help us to get the shape of pyramid. So that's why we have to start a for loop, and that for loop will say, um, actually, that for loop will have a condition that will say row into two minus one. So that is uh, that. Uh, this is the for loop that c is equal to 1, c means column, c is equal to 1, c is less than or equal r into 2 minus 1. So these are the conditions. So if you guys uh, take, mm, for example, the row 4, it will print um, 4 into 2, that is 8, and minus 1, that is 7, 7 stars. Is it printing seven stars? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yes, it's printing seven stars. So we need seven stars in the row four to get the pyramid shape. So I think you guys are clear in these uh, whatever logic in this condition. So then we in between this loop, in this loop, we will just print our star outside of this loop we just need a new line there to get one row to another that pretty much it for now it's time to jump to the code yeah. so we are using dev c++ as our compiler um, now start the program with including the header files is to include stdio.h and another header file we need that is include cronial.h. Here we'll start the main function. So 
now we will need some variables integer type variables for, uh, here r for rows c for columns n for the rows num row numbers and uh, we need another variable called space for printing our space now it's time to um, ask for the input from the user enter the number of rows that's correct now stir the value in n variable and variable is uh, a to set that variable that set person d and just turn that value in n yep. so now we just put the value of n in space and we'll start for a loop here r is equal to 1 R is less than or equal n and R is plus plus to start another for a loop not for a for a loop and then say C is equal to 1 and C is less than the space and C plus plus Here we'll print our empty space. Time for our why we are going like for yes for time to print our stars uh, for C is equal to one. C is less than or equal R into 2 minus 1. Yep, that's it. And 0 plus plus increment by 1. And print F here. R star. And after that, we just need to print a new line to get one row from to another. Oops, we have missed one. We just have to document our space variable here every time. I think, yep, now just one thing to see. I think that's pretty much it. So let's compile and run it. What row? Seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Voila! We have got seven rows uh, of stars and it's uh, of course a pyramid shape so if you guys like whatever I did in my video give a thumbs up to my video and uh, subscribe to my channel bye